हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम एवरी वन वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट चैनल विदातु एन सी आर टी सोल्यूशन इन दिस चैनल यू विल गेट अ डिटेल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी एन सी आर टी क्वेश्चन एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व लेवेंथ क्वेश्चन ऑफ योर एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट वन ऑफ ग्रेट ट्वेल्व ऑफ द चैप्टर रिलेशन एंड फंक्शन लेट इज क्विकली ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन चिल्ड्रन इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन यू हैव ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टूड how to check whether the given function is reflexive symmetric and transitive and also when does a function or a relation is called equivalence relation yes you have seen in the previous questions now let us try to understand how to prove yes they have told us to show that the relation r in a set a of points in a plane given by p comma q distance of the point p from the origin is same as the distance of point q from the origin so they are telling p and q are the two points yes just try to observe here p and q point p let us take this as point p and let us take this as point q okay and if i take this as the origin just try to understand this children this as the origin 0 comma 0 they are telling that the distance from the origin to p and the distance of the origin from q is same so distance of point p from the origin is same as the distance of point q from the origin so they are asking us to prove it is an equivalence relation and also set of all the points which is related to this point which is not equal to 0 is a circle passing through the point through p with center as the origin now let us try to understand is this reflexive yes children tell me if i am checking for this condition just observe let us check whether the given relation is reflexive now if p is a point if p is a point so i'll write p belongs to set a which we're talking okay then p comma p should belong to r children because if p is the distance right p comma p should belong to the it should obey the relation because it is a distance from the origin to that point p so it should be reflexive so i'll write it is reflexive right children it is reflexive yes now let us check whether the given relation is symmetric take two points p and q as they have given okay now if you are taking points p and q let us consider p comma q which belongs to the given set a so if p comma q belongs to r it obeys the relation right children because p is the distance of the distance of point p from the origin and distance of point q from the origin is same they have given in that case q comma p is also same yes or no because when we are talking about distance that relation will be symmetric right children if it is same distance it will be symmetric so it is symmetric we will write it is symmetric now if we have understood this much now the next part that is checking for transitive is very very simple and easy right children how do we do it let's quickly see for transitive so whether this relation is transitive we'll check now observe instead of taking two points let us take three points p q and r okay let us consider three points p q and r which belongs to set a okay all three are distance from the origin all three points are at the same distance i will take this point for your understanding i'm writing this this point is p this point is q this is r okay so let us assume that all three are at the same distance from the origin in that case p and q both are in the same both are at the same distance so it belongs to set r q and r yes it belongs to set r in that case p and r also belongs to set r no children right yes it is because if p and q are at the same distance and q and r at the same distance obviously p and r also should be at the same distance from the origin correct so what we can write it is transitive right students it is transitive relation right it is transitive transitive so since r is reflexive yes r is reflexive symmetric r is reflexive symmetric and transitive what do we write children r is an 
equivalence relation right children if any relation is symmetric reflexive and transitive what do we write we consider that relation to be a equivalence relation r is an equivalence relation so r is an equivalence relation is that clear children easy and simple yes so i think my children have understood this what did we prove they asked us to prove that it is reflexive symmetric and transitive that means it is an equivalence relation we have proved because we are talking about the distance a point two point which are at the same distance from the origin and the relation is about the distance so it is an equivalence relation now coming back to the second condition they are talking about consider any point okay if point p is there let us consider different points children if all these points are at the same distance from the origin 0 comma 0 okay which is related to p then if you try to connect them children it forms a circle right it obviously should form a circle right children because all are at the same distance and this distance acts like a radius yes or no tell me yes so if you draw uh if you join all these points if you try to connect all these points children try to understand if you try to connect all these point then it will form a circle whose radius will be the distance of these points from the center yes it will form a circle so please make a note so you can write since all the point since since all point related to p all points related to related to p resembles radius of a circle or you can write forms radius of a circle from origin origin now you will write what is given in the question what is given children this point is a circle passing through p with center as the origin yes is that clear easy and simple children did you understand this question it was easy right so please make a note of all these points children and remember whenever it is given with respect to distance if they are talking about distance of two points from the origin so if the relation is about the distance if the distance are same then obviously it will be an equivalence relation yes i hope my children have understood this like share and subscribe share it with your friends solve more and more these type of questions so that you can score more in your board exam thank you children